Hello, I'm Becky Parker. Uh, I live at 8106 Southwest County Road 796 in Lake Butler, uh, Union County. Thank you so much for taking the time. And it, I know it's been a lot of time out of your lives. And, but this is an important issue. I think it's the most important issue that's going to face our area, or has ever faced our area. So I'm just going to read my little prepared statement, and then I'm going to say something about the consultant, uh, if I may. As citizens of this area, we have major issues with this mine project. No matter what type of experimental process HPS uses, this is still a strip mining proce project. We still have the same concerns that we have always had. Nothing has changed. I'll just go over those really briefly because you've heard them all already. We're concerned, first of all, about the health of the citizens in Union and Bradford County. The link between mines, radon, and lung cancer is common knowledge, and dust from the mines has the potential to harm anyone that comes into contact. We're concerned about our homes. I live less than 2,000 feet from the proposed mining project. Building home uh, mines next to our residences will make our properties worthless and will nullify the investment so many of us have spent our whole lives working towards. This fear will drive many of us to sell our homes. Combined with the noise and the destruction of the mines, it will drive property values down. All of this hurts us homeowners and it'll hurt the county as well. This, these changes have the potential to turn towns like Brooker into ghost towns. We haven't even begun to talk about, I haven't, the environmental impacts, which you've all heard tonight. <clears throat> it's going to ruin the natural landscape. It will never be the same. I mean, you can, you gentlemen know what it looks like in those areas. Mr. Durrance, you're from Brooker. You know what this landscape looks like. There is no way that it can be reclaimed ever to look like it is. I mean, it will be lost forever. <clears throat> the mining company has heard these concerns for 18 months from us. We've been very vocal. And it has responded with nothing more than vague promises. The fact is that they have provided no proof that they even understand these issues, much less a plan to address them. They keep saying they'll restore the land quickly. Forgetting the fact that restoring the land after this massive undertaking and the fact that this project will require massive amounts of water, all that we have to rely on is for this project <clears throat> is the cryptic guarantees that we hear from the mining executives. History in the state of Florida is full of similar promises where mining is concerned, but these never seem to come to fruition. Um, ultimately, I'm just going to skip around. I know we're all tired and ready to get out of here. Ultimately, the Board of Commissioners has the best chance to prevent this nightmare from happening. This is a group of men who are turning their backs on their counties. I'm sorry. And they are threatening the very survival of their home counties and everyone else that lives here. To chance the future on ambiguous promises from these people seems foolish. Given their behavior, especially over the past year, all of you board members have heard the concerns of your people for the past 18 months. You've heard from the 3,700 names on the petition. You've heard from the hundreds of letters you've got. You've heard from all the resolutions that you know about. Another one added to the list tonight. Do you five men want to leave a legacy of destruction of our scenic, beautiful county? Or do you want your legacy to be one of helping us to stand up for the county and the majority of the people who voted you into office. So I urge you to please do the right thing. Thanks, Mr. Thank you.